Well, you may remember this guy, Homeless Joe. He became a viral sensation when more than five million people watched an elite daily video that followed a day in his life. Joe was a 26-year-old millennial who looked like someone you wouldn't mind your daughter dating. But where Joe lived was shocking. I do homelessness differently, you know what I'm saying? I might sleep on cardboard like two or three nights a week, but I literally wake up every single day and do whatever I want. It was surprising that this fairly clean-cut, good-looking young man was homeless, but he had some pretty innovative tricks he used to fool everyone. My responsibility is to try and not look homeless. I go to CVS and I take their hair gel. You know, they have the mirrors near the makeup section. Yeah, I fix my hair. I grab a Red Bull and I walk out. The craziest thing of all, Joe was a homeless Romeo, a cardboard Casanova, a charmer who picked up women from the bars for a place to sleep and a hot shower. I, like, I forgot how to get just because I became homeless. And I'll go up to any random girl here and tell them I love them and want to marry them just for general recreation purposes. I like your shorts. You're adorable. Like, I'm <laughs> definitely like trying to chill with you. I love you. So he agreed to have his friend drive him across the country to be here on this stage. He had no money. He had no ID. He couldn't fly. He finally showed up here drunk as a skunk. Take a look. I probably only sleep with like 70 or 80 girls every year. You pick up and sleep with 80 women a year? Yeah, it's not really that much, dude. Think about this, 52 weeks in a year. So that's barely over one per week. Like, that's almost you know nothing. Saying? When you're not sleeping with a lady, though, where do you sleep? On the sidewalk, on cardboard, cardboard all-star. This abstract lifestyle is not for everybody. One of your big tools is you don't look homeless. I mean, there's some mornings I guarantee I look homeless. There's some mornings homeless. I wake up and look homeless, but... I highly doubt uh, that. I, how much money do you make? I don't know, the most I ever made was close to 300 in a day. You actually have some money going through your hands. Yeah, but I'm a train wreck, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, once I get drunk, all bets are off. You said you're drunk. 100% of the time. You've done ecstasy, marijuana, abuse alcohol, cocaine. You'll do about anything, right? Yeah, as long as it's good quality. How can you be homeless and not do drugs and drink? Like, I feel like the misery would just overwhelm you. You've been to rehab four times. Yeah, direct result of shenanigans. That's like a vacation for you, right? I love it. <laughs> Are you asking me a question? Do you want me to ask you a question? You can ask me as many questions as you want. Just don't stare at me anymore. <laughs> it looks to me like you have a really difficult and depressing existence. There's something you don't know. I've been homeless. I think it sucks. And the only reason you don't know that is because you're hammered most of the time, right? Predominantly. What are you hiding from? Reality. You know, first off, tell me how you're doing now. How you feeling? How you doing? How's, how's the world working for you? I'm doing amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Got a job. Yeah. You know, working. How long, how old are you now? I turned 27 two days ago. 27, okay. You have been sober now, how long? Four months on the 18th. Four months on the 18th. So when you were here last, even though it's kind of a blur to you, you went from here to Origins on South Padre Island. You were there for nine days, and then you went missing. So what happened? Pretty much as soon as I got cut off the detox drugs, I decided to leave and yeah. went on a rampage in your home state. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, where did you go? I mean, that's a long walk off the island. Yeah, well, I got arrested within six hours of leaving there, and then I went to San Antonio. And San Antonio sucks to be homeless in. So I spent like two days there, right? And then after that, I hitchhiked to Austin and destroyed their city for like three weeks. Where did you get stabbed? I mean, what city? Oh, <laughs> Austin. You got stabbed in the eye? 
It like grazed me. It wasn't that bad.